Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cracks Are Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me, Priyasha Das, and today in this video, we're going to talk about the topic which I've been constantly talking about, that is geometry. The first part of geometry, which we'll be starting off with, is circle theorems. So let me give you an intro first of all. I have been telling this multiple times in my live sessions on Sunday at 10 p.m., that if someone is really worried about their pawn section and is still not sure to where to start with or how to go about and how to secure at least the minimum cutoff, then this topic is surely going to help you people. If you go and check out the theorems, this is really going to be hectic for you people. So Priyasha ma'am is here to help you out where I will be dealing with all those theorems you see on your screen completely full of them in very 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 few minutes okay so I will you just one intro de dungi iska and i will give you that how to use these theorems in the real time questions so that you will be able to you know generate the thoughts better when it is coming in the form of a question so let's get started without wasting any time the first theorem guys please concentrate i will not read out the entire theorem so you will have time to read it also i will be sharing this pdf in my telegram group the link is added in the description box and also also in the pinned comment if you haven't joined the telegram group yet please join it and get this pdf and the other important materials from there so let's get started the first theorem is talking about the fact that if it is clearly mentioned that two circles are congruent that means if they are same then their equal chords will be having the same arc length now this can be taken in two different ways in some questions they can tell you that the arc is same so you will understand that the length of the chord will be same in some questions they will say that pq is equals to 5 centimeter so what will be the length of rs so it has to be the same because the congruent circles with the same arc length have the same chord length next second one is the equal arcs are subtending the same angles at the center ye baat important hai yahan par ki agar dono chord ki length same hai then dono jo angle center pe banate hain that is also same now how will this come in the question paper so in the question paper they might give you two chords whose length is same like 6 cm and 6 cm and one of the chord is making an angle of 80 degree at the center so the other one will also make 80 degree ab iske help se aapko kya milega ho sakta hai ki ye angle aapko question mein given ho and someone asks you oqp so you will be able to find that out with the help of the formula that angles of a triangle sum up to 180 degree so two angles to aapke paas hain hi third aap nikal sakte ho then coming to the third theorem this third theorem is actually interrelated guys so third fourth fifth uh, are all interrelated how are they interrelated it says that when od is a perpendicular line falling on a chord from the center so agar center se ek perpendicular line that is a 90 degree line falls on a chord making a 90 degree of course it's a perpendicular then three things happen firstly this chord will bisect i mean this perpendicular will bisect the chord bisect means divide into two equal parts yani ad will become equals to db all right at the same time agar question mein aapko ye mentioned hai ki in dono parts ka length same hai so ye angle automatically 90 degree ho jayegi even if this is not given in the question and the third thing which they are talking about is if it's clearly mentioned that ad is equals to db and the angle made is 90 degree then the point o will be the center of the circle sometimes knowing the center of the circle really helps you to solve the questions because uske help se aapko diameter ya radius ka idea mil jata hai in angles also it will be very helpful then moving down to the sixth and the seventh theorem. So sixth theorem says that if you have center se aapne do perpendicular drop kiye, okay? Kahan par drop kiye? Do different chords per drop kiye. Now what is the condition that if the distance of the center from the chord is same, equidistant, then the chord lengths are also same. Now look at this part. Agar A B and PQ is given as equal, then the distance OR and OD will also be equal and vice versa. Suppose you know, bol rakha hai ki this is 5 cm and this is 5 cm. So if the value of AD is 4 cm, can you tell me the value of QP? 
गाइज टेल मी इन दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू गॉट दिस वन वेल आई टेल यू दी आंसर अगर ये साइड फोर है तो ये भी फोर होगा क्योंकि पेंडिकुलर जो है हमारे कॉर्ड को बाइसेक्ट करता है सो फोर प्लस फोर विल गिव मी एट एंड इफ दिस इंटायर वन इज एट द क्यूपी विल ऑल्सो बी एट सो दिस इज हाउ वन थियोरम टच इज द अनादर थियोरम एंड इज Used simultaneously. अगर किसी को भी ये फास्ट लग रहा हो तो मेरी वीडियो को आप 0.25 से लेके 1 तक किसी भी स्पीड में देख सकते हो नंबर एट द एंगल सबेंडेड बाय एन आर्क दैट इज द डिग्री विच इज मेड एट द सेंटर इज डबल द डिग्री और द एंगल मेड एट द सर्कम फरेंस ये काफी बेसिक थ्योरम है जो कि काफी कॉमनली यूज यूज होता है क्वेश्चंस में हम भी जब मॉक्स के क्वेश्चंस बनाया करते थे देन वी यूज टू डू दैट नाउ मेरे बनाने से मतलब है आई यूज टू एक्चुअली प्रिपेयर क्वेश्चंस फॉर थ्री लीडिंग मॉक प्रिपरेटरी आई मीन मॉक एंड कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर कैट आई के नॉट नेम देम बिकॉज आई हैव साइंड एन डी ए बट देन या आई यूज टू ऑल्सो गिव क्वेश्चन अराउंड इट एंड हमें ये सजेशन दिया जाता था कि आप इस थियोरम के अराउंड ज्यादा क्वेश्चन बनाइए सो दिस इज अ वेरी फेवरेट थियोरम ऑफ पीपल फॉर कैट एंड जैट स्पेसिफिकली सो इफ द कॉर्ड इज द सेम यानी अगर मैं बेस सेम लेती हूँ तो द एंगल मेड एट द सेंटर इज डबल ऑफ द एंगल मेड एट द सर्कम फेरेंस ओके दिस is very useful the another one is the semicircle rule semicircle ka angle jo banta hai circumference mein that is always a 90 degree so if there is a semicircle anywhere in the diagram and let's say angle a is given as 30 degree you very well know the value of angle b because ye kahin given nahi hoga ye aapko khud se janna hoga okay this is something you should know from the theorem that if it is a semicircle it has to make a 90 degree at the circumference and if the other angle is given as 30 then you know the other angle has to be a 60 because the sum of all the three angles in a triangle is 180 moving down to number 10 well number 10 and number 11 are quite similar guys it's just the fact that ek diameter hai aur ek koi bhi common chord ho sakta hai so when we talk about chord agar aap circumference par एक एंगल सबटेंड करते हो जिसका कॉर्ड सेम है तो वो दोनों एंगल्स भी सेम होंगे एंड सेम हैपेंस इन द केस ऑफ डायमीटर आल्सो इफ द डायमीटर इज आल्सो सबटेंडिंग टू डिफरेंट एंगल्स एट द सर्कमफेरेंस देन दे टू विल आल्सो बी सिमिलर मूविंग टू द ट्वेल्थ वन व्हिच इज अ साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलैटरल प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट बहुत सारे लोग इसमें कंफ्यूज होते हैं कई बार लोगों को एक सर्कल दिया जाता है सेंटर दिया जाता है और इस तरह का क्वाड्रिलैटरल बना दिया जाता है और वो क्या करते हैं साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलैटरल के थ्योरम्स यहाँ पर लगा देते हैं वेल दिस इज नॉट अ साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलैटरल गाइस Why so? Okay, I think you cannot see my cyclic quadrilateral, so I just pull it down. So I was talking about this. So this is not a cyclic quadrilateral, guys. Why? Because the cyclic quadrilateral has to have all the four vertices on the circumference of the circle. Until and unless charo corners circumference per ho, you cannot assume that it is a cyclic quadrilateral. So this is not a cyclic quadrilateral for sure. Or cyclic quadrilateral ki kya important property hoti hai? That the opposite angles are supplementary. Supplementary yani unka sum hota hai 180 degree. So if you don't don't know that please make a note of it that opposite angle yani angle d or angle b ko agar aap add kar do to aapko 180 degree milna chahiye isse fayda kya hoga how can i use it in the real time question suppose angle b is given as 120 degree so this automatically means that angle d will be equals to 60 degree because angle d and angle b are supplementary and both of them have to add up to 180 degree that is the bare minimum requirement तो ये रूल बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलैटरल के लिए मूविंग नेक्स्ट वी हैव द थर्टीन वन विच इज द इक्वल कॉर्ड आओ दिस इज समथिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन आई बिलीव बट ये जस्ट उसका इनवर्स है पहले हमने ये बोला था कि अगर दोनों कॉर्ड की लेंथ सेम है देन वो दोनों सेम एंगल सबटेंड करते हैं सेंटर पर बट इसका इनवर्स थ्योरम ये है कि अगर आपको ये गिवन है कि ये भी 60 डिग्री है और ये भी 60 डिग्री है देन इट ऑटोमेटिकली मीन्स दैट द लेंथ ऑफ द टू कॉर्ड्स ए ए बी एंड डी सी विल ऑल्सो बी सेम फोर्टींथ वन इज अगेन टॉकिंग अबाउट द साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलैटरल बट ये उसके एक्सटर्नल एंगल के बारे में बात कर रहा है दिस मीन्स दैट द एंगल डी हियर द एक्सटर्नल एंगल इज एक्चुअली इक्वल्स टू द एंगल बी वेल यहाँ पर रट्टा मारने की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई टोल्ड यू दैट एंगल डी एंड एंगल बी आर सप्लीमेंट्री क्या मैंने ये बोला था 
यस अब सप्लीमेंट्री से हम कैसे याद कर सकते हैं तो प्लीज थोड़ा ध्यान से देखें और मैथ्स को प्यार से समझे लिटरली आपको मैथ्स से प्यार हो जाएगा नाउ वेन आई जस्ट एक्सटेंड द लाइन लाइक दिस मैंने ये लाइन एक्सटेंड कर दी है तो अब मैं इसका एक्सटीरियर एंगल बना सकती हूँ विच विल बी सिक्सटी डिग्री वाई एक्सटीरियर एंगल विल बी सिक्सटी डिग्री क्योंकि जब मैं लाइन को एक्सटेंड करती हूँ देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्ट्रेट एंगल प्रिंसिपल आई नो दैट द स्ट्रेट लाइन शुड बी वन एटी डिग्री एम आई राइट सो इस प्रिंसिपल से ये एक्सटीरियर एंगल 60 डिग्री हो गया जो कि एंगल डी के बराबर हो गया और यही ये थ्योरम भी बोलता है कि द एक्सटीरियर एंगल इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू द इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल नॉट द सम ओनली द एंगल फाइनली वी मूव टू द फिफ्टीन वन ये काफी इजी है गाइज टेंजेंट हमेशा 90 डिग्री बनाता है ये कुछ बताने की जरूरत नहीं है मुझे Now this is some rules related to the tangents. Okay, so please pay attention to that. अगर दो tangent आपका uh, circle से बाहर निकल रहा है एंड किसी external point P पर जाकर मिल रहा है then the length of the external part of the tangent will be equal. That is AP is equals to BP. The seventeenth one talks about the fact कि चाहे आपके दोनों tangents जो है I mean tangent like looking chords, chords जो है वो internally intersect करे या externally बाहर जाकर intersect करे both of them will have same product of the sides i'll tell you how so suppose take these two chords ab so i am taking a chord ab like this and another chord cd like this now what happens is that when they intersect at a point e if they are intersecting internally then the product of half of the length over here and half of the length over here is equals to the product of half of the length over here and half of the length over here okay same happens in the case of the exterior meeting property also so suppose i have a ab here and a cd here you will say that ma'am i actually drew a circle i actually drew the two chords but they were never intersecting inside the circle but you know what if you extend it around you will find a position where they will start intersecting like i just uh, forcefully intersected it so maybe i'll just not do that i'll i'll make it meet like here so if i make it meet like here it's the point e of over here in this diagram so according to the formula the length of a e that is the entire length multiplied with the exterior part will be equals to the product of the entire length of ce multiplied with the exterior part that's how it goes about and this will be helpful in the questions because sometimes the length of one part will be given and the other part will not be given let's say aapko ab ki value 8 de di hai bc ki ki value 3 de di hai ce ki value 6 de di hai so you have to find out the value of d well here you can directly say that if 8 into 3 is 24 i'll divide 24 by 6 and get the value of de as 4 right that's how you will use it in the exams or in your questions directly then there is a property of secant so secant kya hota hai basically that is a line which is passing through the circle but wo ek line segment nahi hota it doesn't have end points over it so what we will do over here is if a secant is intersecting a circle at the point a let's say and pt is the tangent so the point where the tangent and the secant are meeting are also showing a similar property as the length of the chords outside like the product of the outside part pa multiplied by the pb that is the entire length just like this property the entire length of the secant multiplied with the exterior part is equals to the square of the entire tangent is equals to the square of the entire tangent number 19 says that from the exterior point when you draw two tangents like here i am drawing two tangents b over here and a meeting point over here they are saying that the angle made at the center are equal the angle made at the center are equal and at the same time the angle made in the exterior point is also equal now can you give me a theory for it it is congruent triangle because ye already 90 degree hai guys because they are tangent we know that already and if we consider or find out that uh, from the previous theorem the length of ap and bp were same 
एंड ऑफकोर्स ओ ए इज द रेडियस एंड ओ बी इज द रेडियस तो आप इजिली प्रूव कर सकते हो दैट दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स ओ ए पी एंड ओ बी पी आर एक्चुअली कॉन्ग्रुएंट टू इच अदर तो उनके तीनों एंगल्स भी सेम हो जाएंगे तो जैसे मैंने कहा था थ्योरम्स को रटने की जरूरत नहीं है बस एक बार प्यार से समझने की जरूरत है और राइट right, वीडियो अच्छी लग रही हो तो जरूर लाइक कर देना कंप्लीटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट है मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द लास्ट टू थ्योरम्स ऑफ द डे गाइज ह्योर वी कम टू द पॉइंट वेर अ टेंजेंट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पॉइंट पी एंड इज टचिंग द सर्कल एट द पॉइंट ए एंड डी this will be making a perpendicular point over here which is the property of tangent nothing new to note number 21 is that from the point of contact of the tangent like let us assume that this is the line point okay they are saying ki agar ek cyclic quadrilateral hai na agar aapke ek andar mein cyclic quadrilateral hai then angle bat which is this part okay angle bat will be equals to bca and this is again none other than the property of the cyclic quadrilateral which is having the exterior angle equals to the interior opposite angle isme koi chinta karne wali baat hi nahi hai waise hi agar aapko koi is wale part ka angle puche to you can easily say that it is equals to bda same as that guys nothing new So if you found this video useful what are you going to do you are going to comment below let me know also share it with more and more people guys sharing is caring yaar channel badega please share kar do and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe to the channel as well don't forget to take this pdf from the telegram group the link has been added in the description and the comment as well and don't forget to follow me on instagram where i keep you updated about all the recent stuffs of mba what you need to do every day and we have our crazy zat countdown all so by the way just to remind you we are 89 days away from zat 2024 all the best everyone and thank you so much study hard and i am always there to help you let me know thank you so much guys